Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 88. Today's video is once again powered by my sponsor, Elgato. So today I am using, well, I've got the multi-mount with the flex arm kit. We've got the cam link, the Wave 3 microphone. We've got the key lights, the green screen, and the stream deck. We've got all sorts of the Elgato products that I'm using to create this content for you every single day. Do me a huge favor, check down below in the description to a link to my Elgato profile page if you are an aspiring content creator. It would make for some good Christmas gifts as well for your uh, content creation friends. So heading on into the video, if you wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor, smashing the thumbs up button, that'd be awesome. On this Wednesday, on hump day, do me a huge favor, 5,000 likes, all right? That is your target. Get it done. It's Christmas time support the channel um and of course subscribe as well if you are new around here so uh you just saw the team there essentially i just put ansu fatty into the squad at this moment in time but that is not going to be the only change to the squad today in fact things are going to drastically change um just as soon as we get our uh what are they uh reward packs our weekly pre-order packs or whatever for getting the ultimate edition that's what we're going to open up here uh and we don't get anything really from the first one a little hunter chemistry style i guess but uh not much else and then rare rare gold pack number two so another 25k pack can it be boards can it be a walkout uh, unfortunately not no i never really expect to get much out of these weekly packs but sometimes it does surprise me um but this week was uh was was one of those weeks where you don't really get much, and I don't have any squad battles rewards for you guys because I didn't I didn't get a chance to play squad battles last week. Um, which yeah, I need to do the icon swap part of it. So at some point we'll have some pretty good rewards, I would say. Uh, but yeah, we can redeem qualification for yet another weekend league and we're sat at 540,000 coins at this moment in time after obviously completing Marquinhos yesterday and selling Messi and all of that stuff uh there was yet another fuck freeze challenge for me to do uh yeah I don't mind submitting Gwen Doozy. I know he's in a first owner Bundesliga squad but I'm sure we can sure we can put somebody else in there as well. The one thing I am gutted about is that I don't have Kimmich any longer. We obviously had two untradeable Kimmiches, which I must have submitted for some SBCs down the line. I no longer have a Kimmich for my Bundesliga squad. Maybe I'll have to go out and buy him. Seems as you only need uh, five first owners, don't you, in your squad uh, for icon swaps. Which is what something we are starting today. Finally, it's a uh, it's been out for nearly a week, I guess. But um, yeah, we I had the weekend league and stuff and the content from all of that, and then finally I get round to actually going for the icon swap stuff, and we'll have a good old conversation about what's been going on there because it is quite the the topic of conversation in the community. But first, it's time to buy three big new players. The first of which is Sadio Mane. I have wanted to try this card for a long old time and he's finally joining our club as well as Lucas Torreira. Is it Lucas Torreira? Or well, essentially, Fuck Freeze Torreira, whatever his first name is. And then Renato Sanchez in form who has dropped to about 140k. Um, so I had these three players in mind and a bit of an idea in my head of how I could actually make this squad work by taking out a couple of other players and putting some other stuff from our club in there. Um, this, this, stick with me here, because I think this could be one of our more interesting teams yet. Uh, so, it gets us the chance to use Marquinhos Fut Freeze, which is definitely something I wanted to do. Memphis Depay comes back into the squad, which is nice. Jao Felix stays, of course, and we get to use those new players. So, Mane's going to come in. He'll be on 6 chem for the first 10 games, and then he'll be up to 7. And then everybody else should be... Uh, pretty much on full chem, apart wan Basaka, of course, which we expect i am recording this literally about an hour before the the wednesday night fuck freeze sbc comes out i'm hoping it's marquinhos center back because then i could get him uh if it isn't i mean you guys will know by the time you're watching this but if it is a center back marquinhos uh, marquinhos wan -Bissaka. god damn it i've just got that entire bit wrong it's because i keep seeing marquinhos in our team but if it is a center back wan -Bissaka, I want him, and he will. I'll aim to try and get him in our squad. Um, but yeah, other than that, you will know by now whether or not which Man United player got the SBC, uh, and we'll figure that out in tomorrow's episode. All right, guys. So uh, I needed a whole bunch of position modifiers, and that I'm not gonna lie, did cost me. Ended up being like over 20k uh, to get like Renato Sanchez up to a striker. I just bought the cheapest of the players on the market. I really should have thought about 
the position modifiers and like buying them in that or in that position already. But as well, we already had like Zhao Felix, uh, Seydorf, Marquinhos. They were already players in our club. So I could only really have bought Renato Sanchez in a striker. Um, other than that, I still had to go out and buy the counter CMs for some of these players. So right now we're currently sat on 99 chem. And that is because I need to get loyalty on a couple of players. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be on 100 chem after just 10 games. So um, fear not. You know, we're not using a team that is like super, super low chem or anything. We've got two players on seven, one on eight, um, and the rest on 10, I'm pretty sure. Which is, yeah, absolutely fine. So I'm actually going to aim to play Zhao Felix and Mane up front with Depay at cam. With Renato Sanchez, Clarence Seedorf as my box-to-boxes. Marquinhos as the CDM. And then Joe Gomez, wan as our centre-back with Bellerin and Torreira as fullbacks. And then I logged on and obviously got my free David Beckham. For any of you that haven't got this yet, all you have to do is log into FUT in between now and like the 4th of January or 14th of January or something. Um, and you get a Real Madrid version of David Beckham for free. 86 overall rated and actually looks like a pretty cool card. For free especially, like this is a, a brilliant card and I am overly happy with this. I'm over the moon about it because... David Beckham is one of my favorite footballers of all time. So to get a free one, like, that's awesome. I know he's an icon and there are better versions of him on this game. But that's a pretty cool usable version of David Beckham with a Real Madrid badge, which is also pretty neat. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. And that is one of the cooler things that EA have done for us this year. That is for sure. Cool card design. Nice card. Really, like, hype nostalgia player. Especially for any of us Englishmen out there. Obviously, we all love David Beckham. Um... So yeah, welcome to the club, David. Now, we could have not bought all of those players and just put that Beckham into that empty right mid spot that we've got and played him as a box-to-box -box centre mid. But we'll talk about that later. It's time for us to go into icon swaps. Um, and I'm going in with my Prem team. Now, you'll see me go 1-0 down after two minutes here and I pause and quit. So the topic of conversation and the... Uh, the debate that's been going on around icon swaps, as all of this stuff happens in the background, I end up quitting my second game as well, is that there's this golden goal thing going on where people are in the community are essentially helping each other out, getting this stuff done quickly, where it is literally first goal wins and you quit if you go 1-0 down and you hope that they quit if, if you go 1-0 up. Now, a lot of people are doing it. Not everybody, of course, but my two cents on it are that number one, yeah, I love that. I want to get my tokens as quick as possible. Um, I don't necessarily love the foot friendlies mode, uh, which is weird because it's like the most casual mode out of a lot of them. Um, but I'm not, like, I quite like to have my main team and I like to use my main team, whether that be for 14 wins in the weekend league or or whatever. But um, I, the, the foot friendly stuff, I found a lot of the time that I just miss out on quite a lot of the players because I just don't bother playing it. So, as quick as I can get my tokens, I'd love that, essentially. Um, and I will happily play along with everybody else. You know, if I go 1-0 down, I'll quit. Uh, and if they go 1-0 down and they quit, that's brilliant. You know, we get our tokens as soon as possible. Um, the other areas to focus on and look at here are that there's been a lot of people, obviously, like, they go 1-0 up and then they pause it to, to try and say to their opponent, hey, you quit on me. Now, if someone does that to me, I am more more likely to just stay in the game out of spite um, because I'll choose when I want to quit. And I'm happy to play along, but if someone tries to do it for me, that gets my like competitive side going a little bit and I'm more likely to stay in the game longer rather than I would have just paused it and quit myself, mate. Um, so, yeah, that is, <laughs> that's like from my competitive side, I guess. Um, but I see a lot of people talking about that and people don't like it that they're just trying to play the game and people find it annoying if you don't quit when you're 1-0 down but you just want to play the game. If you want to play the full 90 minutes in, in fuck friendlies, that's absolutely fine. That, like, I'm, I'm all right with that. If, if I go 1, 2, 3, 4 nil up and you don't quit, so be it, right? If you want to play the game, that's totally your prerogative, right? I'm not going to try and force you to rage quit. Um, and at that point, I can't be mad at you if you just want to play the game. That's, that's, that's absolutely fine. I won't moan about it. Um, but you know what? 
I just also hope that I can get it done as quick as possible. Because at the end of the day, I want my my icon swap tokens, and I want them as quick as possible. And that is the way it works in in my book. Uh, because I would rather get the the stuff from icon swaps to then help improve my main team, which is the one I like the most, um, rather than just using like a, a random prem team with some players that I've unlocked in the past. Do you know what I mean? Like people are very split on this. I think a lot of the community love the golden goal thing, and also a lot of the community are just like stop messaging me saying that i'm toxic because i didn't quit the game i also totally understand that you gotta allow people to play how they want to play so um yeah anyway we've done the prem stuff in literally 20 minutes oh and that's the final thing to talk about on this topic by the way we are not going to be able to complain when icon swaps 2 comes around and ea make it a lot more difficult for us more wins required or whatever we're just not going to be able to complain because we as a community have done this to, to make it super quick. And these aren't designed to be like super quick unlockable things. Because like, these are icons. These are top tier players on the game. Whether it's an icon pack or ultimate packs or 25 players that are 83 and above. These are going to significantly improve your club. They're not meant to be able to be gotten in like an hour. All of them. So don't be surprised and if you're if you're like me and you're taking part in all of this don't be don't be surprised and don't moan when it's harder next time around all right i think that's probably fair to say so i got the prem stuff done in literally like 20 minutes which was unbelievable to me six wins in 20 minutes is uh is fantastic so we switched to the Serie A, and that's definitely one of my weaker leagues so i thought i'm gonna get that one out of the way next um because the prem was one of my stronger leagues i want to i want to start hard and then get easier and easier and i didn't do that with the prem so i actually bought a couple of players because we've got coins at our disposal i bought some Serie A players to help me out you know the likes of mertens insigne players that i think are going to be pretty good um and my technique is to go onto my constant pressure high depth and just go for annihilation i am trying to get that first goal so that then maybe they quit. And if that is the case, then my job is successful. They move on to their next game. And I think that's the way a lot of people are playing. Like constant pressure, team press. Just like try and throw everything forward. Yes, I'm exposed at the back. And if I lose, if I go 1-0 down, hey, I've lost. I'll just quit and move on to the next one. And I'm playing all of these games on next gen. Where I don't have that initializing bug. So I get into a game like, like that. Like super quick. Um, and never have an issue getting into a match. So yeah, it seems to be the most time efficient and... Uh, well, just overall efficient way to unlock these tokens as quick as possible. Um, but just be aware that some people might want to play the game slightly differently to you. And they might not want to quit. And you've got to be okay with that, alright guys? So, um, I think I'm not going to show any more of these uh, in videos. Because this is obviously just 1-0 quit, 1-0 quit. You know, sometimes people don't quit against me and then I they quit after 2-0 or 3-0. But it's not, I don't find this to be the most engaging, like, gameplay content. Um, so I probably won't be putting any more of these into the videos. But what I'll do is I'll just do it all in the background. So I'll get my icon swap tokens. And then what we do with them, of course, that will be in the video. Um, so I'll just spend the next few hours trying to get the next few leagues done. Uh, and then, obviously, I'll have the squad battle stuff to do as well, which is 15 wins of squad battles. It's going to take four, five, six hours. That, that's quite a grind. Um... But eventually I ended up getting kicked off the servers because I think I got I played too many games in under an hour. So I think that's just like a safety thing in case you were like some sort of bot or hacking or something. Um, so I had to stop at that point and that's where I've just stopped for the end of this video. I think we're halfway through the Serie A one. We'll get to it in a minute. I'm basically showing you where I'm at and all of my objectives right now. Um, but yeah, we, we've done the Prem and we're three out of six for Serie A and then I can move on to the other leagues and stuff. But I actually won that last game and it still booted me off the servers and didn't count as a win. And I'm pretty sure it's because you can't play more than like 15 games in one hour, um, which is we must have hit that cap or in a short space of time, whatever it is. Some people are saying that you can uh, back out and, and, and restart your console and then you're good to go again. And some people are like, oh, you need to play a couple of squad battles or open a couple of packs. So... I don't know what it is. I, I assume it's probably just a time frame thing. So I just turned it off, played Assassin's Creed for a little bit. And we'll come back to it later, since as I'm doing the rest of this off camera. Um, so yeah, that is, that's basically where we're at in terms of icon swaps. Hope you've uh, enjoyed the chat about like the different areas that people are discussing and debating right now. Uh, the main next thing to talk about and what you can leave your comments down below about are, is should we stick with this new team right here? Or... Because we built this before 
David Beckham even came out, there is the opportunity to just go fully back to what we were at before and put Beckham at right mid, which looks a little something like, come on, transition last E. There we go. We could just do this and be on the same chem as what we were before, right? Using... Um, who would it be up front? So Beckham would go with a shadow as a as a box to box centre mid. We could play four one two one two with this team. So it'd be Beckham and Sadorf as my centre mids with Herrera at CDM, and then we would have Usman Dembele at Cam with um, João Felix and Zaha up front. Now, is that a stronger team than what we've got over on the other squad? Maybe not. But let me know what you think. And also bear in mind that I just don't know if it's Wamba Saka yet. So you'd see that tomorrow whether it is or wherever it isn't. But um, yeah, that's basically going to wrap the video up. I actually think the 4-3-1-2 team is stronger. And then having Beckham uh, to come on as a sub might be quite fun. Or we can use him in the next team that we build or something. But I'm kind of looking forward to using Mane and stuff. So maybe, maybe I'm going to stick with the other team. I just figured I would show you what we could potentially do with the squad now that David Beckham is in our clubs. Um... Because I think he looks like a good box-to-box -box centre mid, to be honest, with a shadow chem style. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Do me a huge favour and hit the thumbs up button, alright? That would be all I ask from you. 5,000 likes, that is your target. And you can, of course, subscribe as well if you're new around here. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So it wasn't all I could ask you, but, you know, do those other things as well. Come and follow me on social media, see what we're getting up to over there. Hope you all have a great day, everyone. Take it easy, stay safe and healthy, and I will catch you tomorrow. Probably with some live rewards. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what sort of content I get done over the next couple of days. Right. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Catch you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>